What's going on everyone? Today we are in Fairfax, Virginia over by the popular Kings Park neighborhood checking out a brand new craftsman style home from a new builder. Inside the home we have six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, a two car garage and there is almost 6,000 finished square feet. You also have a Trex deck off the back and the home sits on almost half an acre. The asking price for this one is $1,850,000 and with that that being said, let's start the tour. And if you have any questions or would like to set up a showing, just reach out to me below and I would love to assist you. All right, here we go. Another day, another property tour. So as soon as we walk in, we have this nice two-story foyer. And then off to our right, Kind of like a uh, sitting room kind of area. Got this wide opening right here. And I do like you have these big windows, nice ceilings here, nice tray ceilings. And this is a private street, um, so it shouldn't be too many cars down here except for today it looks like a, the neighbors are moving and let me show you where we came in from got this wood and glass door right here and then off to our left we have the formal dining room again you got these tray ceilings here big windows plenty of space obviously it's not staged but does feel pretty, like a pretty good size. And I believe this is a type of white oak flooring. Have to confirm that, but you have the, the wide planks. and So we will head to the right. And one thing I love about this house, you do have the first level bedroom, and then you got this full bathroom as well. This is pretty spacious in here. The shower, tile going all the way up. Nice vanity. And check out those light fixtures. No one's called me out on it yet, but in my last video, I don't think I had any of the light fixtures in the bathrooms. And it was driving me crazy. So, and this is the coat closet, by the way. So this video, I'm gonna be sure to get every single bathroom light fixture. And this lot is actually half an acre, so we'll check it out um, from the living room kitchen side, but pretty good size for Northern Virginia, obviously. Closet. It is kind of crazy though when you go a little bit further out, kind of towards the Appalachian Mountains, the price per acre of land. I mean, you can buy, you know, a hundred acres for nothing, it seems like. All right, let's check out the living room. And obviously, this area though, you're kind of in the uh, Kings Park neighborhood in Springfield. So I have some friends that live over here. It's a very convenient and more affordable neighborhood in Northern Virginia, but people seem to love it. So we have the gas fireplace. And again, you can kind of see some houses in the background, but you still have, you know, somewhat of a nature view when the trees are green in the springtime and check out this open concept here. And then let me show you the butler's pantry off to the left. Got the wine fridge, cabinets here, a couple outlets. So check out this kitchen. 
So we have a little area right here for bills and mail, I guess. And we got the gray and white combination. Tell me what you think about that. I've heard some people complain when the kitchen's all white. I mean, people complain about everything, but this has a nice, nice look to it. Gray cabinets, white quartz, obviously the stainless steel. You got the nice big sink right here. And at least the house that you can see in the background looks like a newer construction home. Sometimes you go to these neighborhoods and the house that you're looking at is like not the house you want to be looking at. <laughs> we got the six burner right here. Nice backsplash. And we got the double oven as well. So look how much space you have. And then we obviously have the oversized um, countertop right here so you can put some stools and some chairs uh, plenty of countertop space let's check out the mud room I'm already making myself at home over here but pretty good size mud room area and then we got the pantry to the left nice big pantry And let's check out the garage. So they're still wrapping some things up, obviously, but two car garage. And I believe there's some type of EV outlet here. I'd have to double check on that. Too much stuff in there. Very tall ceilings, very light, good natural light. We got the Pella door right here. Let's just take a quick look outside. And we got the Trex deck. So this is about half an acre. Could be cleaned up a little bit in the back there. But decent sized deck, not massive, but not small by any means. And you would need a fence over here if you had a dog or whatnot but yeah pretty peaceful back here pretty quiet it does look like the neighbors have a lot going on in that backyard looks fun though if i was a kid all right so we will make our way upstairs you can see the entrance again beautiful house so far and let me know where you're watching this from. I'm always curious. I get international viewers, I get people that are like, oh, I live like two blocks away. Drive by this house every day. And if you wanna set up a showing or if you have any questions, uh, you can also reach out to me below. All my contact information is there. You can text me, you can call me, whatever you prefer. Text is usually the fastest response. So, where do we start up here? It seems like a pretty wide space up here, like you could almost have furniture. So straight ahead is the laundry room. Still working on that, but pretty good sized space. And yeah, you could turn this into a nice little area. This house also has four bedrooms, four full baths upstairs. So each bedroom has its own bathroom. Oh, and we got the tub. I was just at a house that had like six bathtubs. It's like, man, that's a lot of baths. That might be the record.
closet. So that's bedroom number one. To the right is the master, which we'll check out last. But the master on this one is pretty special. Uh, it's really just massive and nicely done. The bathroom's really nice. You got a lot of space. You probably would need a designer to kind of like tell you where to put things and give you some ideas. Pretty good sized closet in here. And of course we have another full bathroom. Get those light fixtures in there. So this house has a very light, very neutral look to it, which is good. I like it. And also obviously modern, you know, some modern features as well. So this is bedroom number three. And you can see this house, it's it's off the main road and then there's this like access road where there's, I guess, three houses that probably have some type of shared agreement. So actually, if you're buying the house with a VA loan, you need to get that sorted out beforehand. The VA lender will require you to um, share that agreement. Ask me how I know. Just had one like that. But yeah, nice bathroom. Let's take a look at this closet. All right. You know, for like the fourth bedroom, not, not bad. Some houses in Arlington, this bedroom and bathroom combo would be like the, the master, so. Go out to Springfield, you get a little more house for your money. And just a, kind of like a towel closet. All right, let's get ready for the primary suite. So this is massive. We got kind of like a couple different areas going on right here. So this is almost like the living room, and then you make your way over here. This would be more of the bedroom area. And again, with the tall ceilings, windows, natural light. I'm just using buzzwords at this point. And so, so space in this bedroom is not an issue. Let's check out the view. You know, right now it's like November, but I'm sure it's all green, you know, in the springtime. And this is a really good sized bathroom. And then we also have the two closets. Oh, check out those light fixtures. Looks like a plant. Um, so we got this closet, pretty good size. I think you'd have enough space in here. And then we got the smaller of the two closets, but I think still pretty good size. I gotta find... I've never seen a light fixture like that. So everybody's favorite part, the bathroom. All right, where do we start? So we got the shower. Nice glass door. Look at all these little faucets. Tile work. I 
was going to say you have a bench, but I don't know if that would really qualify. And we got the water closet to our right. And then I like this color combination. Looks like the white quartz with the kind of bluish gray. So obviously you got to have the double sink. And then we have a towel closet. Let's take a look at this tub. All right, so we've got the shower, the tub, and then look at this. We've got an extra closet in here with the little window. They get the privacy trees, so maybe you could do that in the front as well, if you really wanted to. So we have like three closets in here. I like this floor tile as well. We got the tub, we got the shower. Man, I would just love to see this actually designed. Like, give me three or four concepts, three or four renderings. You could probably make it look super nice. So we will check out the basement. It's a walkout basement. You got a lot of space down there. Super cool. And let me know if you have any questions about this one, if you want to set up any showings, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to do bigger, better houses. Pretty soon we're going to be doing castles and ridiculous houses probably. But here's the basement. Let me just, hold on, this basement is massive. Got to back up into this corner to capture all of it. So this is like the main part of the basement, but then we also have a bunch of different rooms. We have the wet bar over here with two wine refrigerators. The lighting. So I love basements that are not like fully underground where you can just walk right out. And this would be the theater room. So you could watch your football, your movies. Needs a little bit of furniture, but I think it's a good size. It's like a good cozy size. It's not one of these oversized theater rooms that you see sometimes. And off to our left is kind of like a quasi bedroom. I don't know, you could use it for whatever. I'd probably turn this room into like a sauna, sauna room, steam shower, something like that. And we got some decent storage down there as well. All right, which way should I go? Let's veer off to our left. So we got the half bathroom for the basement. And then this looks like, I'm not sure what this room is. They might still be working on it. Some type of utility room. Back there is definitely the utility room. So, not a whole lot to see over there. And then in this room, this would be the sixth bedroom, I believe, because you got one on the main level, you got four up top, and then you got one below. And I kind of like when they're separate. I mean, I like having four bedrooms upstairs. 
I think in terms of resale value, four bedrooms upstairs is definitely the best. But then when you can add another bedroom or two on each level, that definitely helps. We got the full bath with the tub. And let me just show you one more thing. Look how much space this is. So here is the backyard. You can see like water would probably run down here. It looks like there's a little like cutout almost for the water to go. All right, so let me know what you thought about this video and be sure to check out some other property tours on my channel.